everyone, I am here with Mr G today to film a little more mags and I'm really really excited about this video today. I'm going to show you what I am packing for Mr G's holiday suitcase. We're going to Santorini next week for five days and I'm really excited. We're going to take you with us as well and film all out there for the vlog that week so keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now I will get cracking because there is quite a lot of stuff, pretty much 99% of it is going to be grace and stuff, I'll be lucky if I can fit a pair of sandals in there at this rate. Seeing as there is so much of his stuff to pack, I'm going to take a bit of a pragmatic approach to this like a sensible mummy and show you all of the practical things first, all the essentials and then after I will leave all the clothes and the outfits and the fun stuff for last. So I'm going to get cracking and show you what I'm taking on as hand luggage firstly and I actually made a video of what's in my changing bag, I'll link to that below, I'm taking all of that stuff but then adding all of these little extras in. Firstly I have the obvious nappies, wipes, bottles for Grayson's formula, thermos flask to keep his bottles warm or cold, sanitizer stuff which is brilliant for mummies on the go, you just if you drop a bottle or a dummy or anything you just spray it with this and then it's sanitized and ready to go, you can use it for your hands as well, you can use it for their hands as well sun cream which is baby factor 50 ombre solaire jelly cat teddy which i love this is really great for grayson because he's getting very tactile at the moment he's enjoying touching and feeling things so this should keep him entertained on the plane these blanket clips and these are really really handy i'm using them at the moment anyway and basically they are for when you have a blanket on your push chair or if you're carrying one when the baby's in a sling you can just clip it onto whatever piece of apparatus or even your clothes just so you don't drop it or lose it. Dr Brown's sterilizer bag and this is good for traveling because you can just chuck your bottles in it, stick it in the microwave, you can use them up to 20 times and then your bottle is clean and ready to go. A couple of sachets of cowpaw just in case he's feeling a bit groggy after landing or or if he's teething or anything like that. Grayson's book of all his health records and this has got all the details of his immunizations and everything in it just in case something happens on holiday where we need to take him to the doctors or the hospital. Blanket and this one has little birds on it and it's quite a big blanket and these are the ones that I use every single day. I kind of, I have four and I kind of rotate them. I use them to mop up spit, dribble, blanket for him as a sunshade for tummy time. I couldn't live without these and I definitely know that this is going to be really useful on that six hour journey. I have this little hat for him, it's a bucket shape and it has a big brim around the top so that when he wears it, it shades his eyes from the sun. Lastly for hand luggage, I have his travelling outfit and I'm just going to let him travel in a onesie because everyone keeps telling me that it's the most practical thing and it's the easiest thing so I'm going to pop him in this little stripy grey onesie from Marks and Spencers. Quite a chunky knit sort of cardigan with ears on it from the white company. Don't know if it's going to be a bit chilly at the airport or if there's going to be aircon on or anything so I thought it was important that he had a thicker jumper for the holiday. So now I'm going to show you what I'm packing in the main part of Grayson's holiday luggage. So I'm going to start with swimwear and I have an obsession with Jojo Mama and Baby as I told you before. I can't stop shopping in there. So I have this little swimming sun hat with a flap at the back which will be really good for the beach and the pool because he won't get sunburnt on the back of his neck. Then I have the matching little swimming trunks which are really cute. I love these so much. And then I have a spare swimming hat which is from Boots Mini Club. A little blue poncho towel with a hood and I thought this would be really good for the beach and just it just looks really cuddly and comfy for him when he gets out of the water. Maybe like floating rubber ring thing which he sits in and he was using this actually in my last vlog. Lastly for the pool slash beach I have this little jumper which was actually one of the prototypes for our baby shop. I don't think we're going to end up using this but I really really love it. It's got a wide neck so it's really easy to put over his head. It's really light fabric as well and it dries quickly so I am going to keep this by the pool for when he gets out of the water just to cover him up quickly or if it gets breezy or anything like that. I thought that would be handy for him just to keep him warm. I have the rest of the Dr Brown's sterilizer bags for the remainder of the week and I have the rest of the box of cow Pole. A bottle of Infocol because this helps with Grayson's wind and I generally tend to put this in most of his bottles or if he's struggling with a burp this helps him out so I can't live without that. Teething sachets because he, 
He is having a few TV days quite regularly at the moment and these are a godsend. These seem to really calm him down and help him out. His little sunglasses which he looks ridiculous in and I don't really think he likes wearing them. Teething ring, pot and a spoon because he generally in the morning now has a tiny bit of rusk mashed up with some milk and I don't really want him to miss out on that for the week because he seems to really enjoy it so I thought I would just put it in there. And I have this Tommy Tippy bib which is made out of rubber which is perfect for traveling because you don't need to wash it and you can just wipe it clean and I don't generally use bibs I use these cloths for everything but with his solid food with his little rusk mash thing that I make for him I tend to use this because it's just too much of a mess otherwise jelly cat drawstring bag which a couple of his teddies came in but I thought this would be really handy to put his dirty things in a family sized UV protecting sun tent for the beach which was very interesting watching stuff try and put this back together but now we know how to do it it's really easy we're not going to be able to take our push chair unfortunately because santorini has a lot of stairs and hills and it's all on a cliffside so it's just going to be more hassle than it's worth for us to take a push chair so we've decided to take a sling for grayson and we are going to be using this stoke sling which i ordered in cream because i thought it was really sunny oh i thought it was really sunny that doesn't make sense i ordered this in cream because i thought it was nice and summery and it just looks nicer than the black ones i think and then lastly on the practical side of things a baby bouncer and we just thought we would take a baby bouncer for him because we don't know how much time we're going to be spending in the hotel or anything and I just think it's nice for him to have his own little seat to sit in. Now I get to show you the exciting things which are the outfits and clothes that I'm taking for him. I'll start off with pyjamas and I'm taking seven of these little vests. We're only going for five days and Grayson's not really a very messy baby. I think seven of these is going to be plenty enough for us. Seven lots of pyjamas because I do like to put them in a fresh pair of pyjamas every night. So this one is from m &S, as is this one. That one's from m as well. This one is from John Lewis and then I have the last one from Jojo. So those are all his pyjamas. A couple of little like romper type things just in case it's quite hot out there and I want to keep him cool I have this really cute one this is actually my favorite thing that I bought for him for holiday it's from baby Zara and it's just a little romper with buttons down the front this one is absolutely adorable I couldn't resist it it's from Marks and Spencer's and it's like a little romper Hawaiian t-shirt style with a collar and I just thought that was so cute because Steph actually has a shirt quite similar to this as well so I thought I could match them up on that day with their little Hawaiian print plain navy one from Jojo and I'm also taking the red one from Jojo that he's wearing oh sorry the red one that he's wearing right now then I have this little Zara t-shirt with dinosaurs on it which I thought was really cute and very tourist like oh hi you've decided to join us have you <gasps> yeah I have this little orange t-shirt which I thought was very holiday-esque and I just thought it was cute with the buttons down the front and the little pocket. These little blue shorts, navy shorts from Jojo and I just thought these will go with all his t-shirts and everything. A pair of dungarees from Jojo as well because I know it's going to rain one of the days we're out there so I thought I better bring something that's a little bit warmer. I also thought I should pack a more lightweight kind of cardigan for him so I'm packing this grey cardigan from Primark which has elbow patches on it which are really cute a couple of pairs of trousers in case it's cooler than we thought or if we go out for a meal in the evening or something and it's a bit cooler in the evening I don't obviously want to dress him in shorts so I have these little trousers from Zara these stripy leggings from Jojo which I really really love lastly I have in case we need to dress up if we go out for dinner I'm not really sure how it's gonna work on holiday with a baby to be honest but if we make it out for dinner or if we go for a nice lunch or something I packed him this little shirt because it's a bit more dressed up I think that's everything let me know in the comments below if you think I've missed anything or if there's oh hi Widgie if there's anything that you would recommend me taking that I haven't already packed I would really appreciate it because obviously I haven't traveled with a baby before and this is just all the things that I think I'm going to be needing. I would love to know in the comments below if you guys are going on holiday this year, whereabouts are you going? And I will see you all on Sunday. Bye! From the three of us, I don't know if you can see Widgie. Hi! <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>